On today's Community Wednesday, let's break down all the changes that have happened in the last two updates. As I was working on the last update video, another update came out and changed quite a lot, so I decided to put the two videos together and just make one. And on top of all the major changes that I'll be covering, I'll also be updating all my old stat guides to include 300 HP. So let's get through all these changes going in alphabetical order. First up is the EM2. Here is its old stats, and here's what's changed. Its hedgehog multiplier got decreased to 1.3 times, its max damage got decreased, and its minimum damage got decreased. Which means, there's actually a damage drop off that matters now. Instead of being 7 shots to kill no matter where you're shooting, it's gonna have an 8 shot kill now, after 22 meters. Which is a bit of a problem for my build, because 8 shots to kill between 22 and 30 meters is not gonna be performing very well. However, getting one headshot will improve its TTK. But even between 22 and 30 meters, with that one headshot, I still wouldn't recommend it. So unless you're going for the slower ADS long range only EM2, definitely run this with a sniper support SMG. And when we take a look at the 300 HP modes now, its damage scores are going to be exactly like the 250 HP mode. So compared to all the other weapons, it's going to feel exactly like how it did, just with an extra shot to kill. And of course, you'll need two headshots instead of just one to reduce your shots to kill by one. Now for the Car 98K. This is its old scores, and this is the new scores. As you can see, you can only one shot in the first damage range, which is expected. However, its max damage range got decreased all the way down to 53 meters. The damage values also got a bit of a buff, so it's no longer going to take you 5 shots to kill. But definitely in the second damage range, if you're hitting anything but headshots and upper torso shots, you're going to have a really bad time. And this is a trend we're going to be seeing throughout many of the quick scoping sniper rifles. So it might be a good idea to start swapping the sniper scope for a lower zoom scope, so you can at least have no glint. Now for the LW3 Tundra. It's gotten the quick scope sniper rifle treatment. You cannot one shot someone after 50 meters. In 250 HP modes, it's going to be a little forgiving under 50 meters, just in case you miss the headshot. But in 300 HP modes, if you don't get that headshot, you're going to have a pretty bad time. Unlike the Car 98, it cannot get a two shot kill, even with upper torso shots. Before, I already warned people against using the Tundra, since it was already hard to use. But now, definitely don't use it. It's not worth it. Now for the M82. Here are its old stats, and here's what changed. And yes, it cannot one shot anymore. In 250 HP modes, under 75 meters, you can get a two shot kill in the head and upper torso. After 75 meters, it's only going to be the head. In 300 HP modes, the only way you can get a two shot kill is if you get two headshots. And if you're only hitting limb shots in 300 HP modes, it's going to take four shots. I do not understand this nerf because it already has a very slow rate of fire. Yeah, its recoil is perfect and its bolt drop is amazing, but it's just way too slow. I wish they would make limb shots always four shots to kill and upper and lower torso shots two shots to kill no matter which location. Because right now, there is not a lot of reason to choose the M82. And now the right tech. Here are its old stats, and here are the new stats. Don't let the colors fool you, because as we all know, you will not be getting its rate of fire. Pretty much all that changed is that it's now going to take two shots to kill in the head. Everything else stayed the same. However, it's extremely bad ADS time, it's really bad velocity, and it's uncontrollable recoil. I cannot recommend that you use this anymore. At least before, if you could actually line up a headshot, you would be rewarded. But now, you can't really use it for anything. It's just a bad sniper rifle. So, just don't bother with it. Now for the SPR-208. This is its old stats, and these are the new ones. Surprisingly, it can get a one-shot kill all the way up to 60 meters, basically. And under this distance, it's pretty okay. Its bullet velocity is decent, and it can still get a two-shot kill if you miss the head. But after 59 meters, it's not so nice. Two shot to the head, three to the upper torso, and five anywhere else. And in 300 HP modes, it's a similar story, except you're adding one extra shot to kill in all the other locations. So if you don't get that two shot headshot, it's gonna be four or six shots to down someone, and that is ridiculous. So in 250 HP modes, if you're still using the SPR, you can probably keep using it. But in Battle Royale, don't even try. And now for the Swiss K31. It got hit pretty hard. It can only one shot under 46 meters. For having such a low drop off, I expected more. In 250 HP, it's acceptable, but in 300, it's not. It's still better than the Car 98 though, but the Car 98 is still better at quick scoping than the Swiss. Now for the XM4. 
In 250 HP modes, it lost its ability to get above average GTKs with only one headshot. However, in 300 HP modes, it got changed quite a lot. In the first damage range, it will no longer get an average TTK. In order to get it back to average, you will need multiple headshots. This is following the overall trend of making long range weapons less effective at close range. Then we have the ZRG 20mm. And surprisingly, it didn't get harmed in any way. The drop off got increased to 112 meters, and the head multiplier got increased as well. You can one shot someone at any range, and even in 300 HP modes, you can always get a two shot upper torso kill. And this makes the ZRG the best sniper rifle in the game once again. For what it can do, it has a great ADS time, and with its bullet velocity, that makes it even better. Its recoil is perfect, and it's the only sniper rifle that can get these damage scores. It's probably going to get nerfed soon, either through mobility or its upper torso TTK, but it's still going to be the best sniper rifle in the game. So what does this mean for the meta? Pretty much in terms of sniper rifles, the ZRG is the only option. Or if you like quickscoping, you gotta ask yourself, am I going to get that one-shot headshot and do I want to increase the range as much as I can, or am I going to miss and I want to guarantee a two-shot kill up to a certain distance? Then you gotta look and see which one matches your playstyle and which one has the best compromise, and pick that one. Now a quick word on the Cold War AK. I know I haven't done a stat guide on it, but I'm always recommending it. While it's still going to be performing decent at long range, I can no longer recommend it as a sniper support weapon. Its first damage range TTK is just not going to be good enough. As for the nerfs to the XM4, I think it's perfectly fine, because a weapon that has such great recoil shouldn't be getting such great damage scores at close range. Their only other option was to make the recoil worse, and I'm glad they didn't do that. But the nerfs to the EM2, I'm not a big fan. But I know why they did it. Not everyone runs the EM2 like I do. I can only use mine to around 115 meters, but I've seen people use theirs way further. But of course, it comes with an extremely slow ADS time. So once again, the only other option would have been to increase the recoil. And that would have absolutely killed my build. But it's still disappointing to see that basically, the XM4 is just as good as the EM2 now. And it's going to be easier to get those headshots in. So it looks like I'm going to have to switch to a different weapon now. But if you're used to the slower ADS one, it's probably going to be fine. So what do you think of the changes? Are you happy, disappointed, or do you not really even care? And as always, if there's any weapon build or part of the game you want to break down, let me know when you may see on the next Community Wednesday. Thanks for watching.